When I got hired here, the main goal was to be a uh, top 25 team eventually. I think we've made great strides towards that. You know, we want to be Gonzaga. We want to be Butler. That's what we want to be. And there's no reason we can't. It's going to take some time. We've got to be patient. But everything's in place for that to happen. We want to be a, a school that's known for its basketball. We want to definitely be a school that competes at the highest level, that can beat anybody at any level. You know, high majors, mid majors, the whole deal. As far as our development, it's been really, really good. We've gotten better each year. We've built quite a program here with our student base. This campus is beautiful. There was 4,000 students when I got here, and now there's 17,500. It's amazing for me because I got a chance to watch it grow because I was here when it was kind of a smaller. So um, it's just been crazy. Coach Marley and uh, Mr. Colangelo and uh, President Mueller just did a great job with building this whole thing. We're going from Division Two to Division One, Jerry Colangelo, uh, he's the one that called me. I wanted to know if I'd be interested in interviewing for the job. So he's here all the time. He's a mentor to me. Last thing we want to do is break the press and then just, okay, just throw it out and let's not get them in their two, three, and here we go at 13. We got to attack. As far as the way we play, treat this team like a pro team. Transition offense, quick hitters, look for mismatches. That's what we're looking for. We want to kick it up. And that's the way I coach. That's what I know. Go push it. I think I have a great relationship with our players. I tell them that I came from a uh, mid-major program, Central Michigan. I know what it takes, just whether they want to put in the time and the effort and what they have to do physically and mentally to do that. They understand that I've been through it. So I think that's a big draw for a lot of kids that want to come here. Right. Coach Marley, his background, he's been a, a, one of the you know, NBA toughest guys, hardworking guy, really easy coach to play for. You know, he just expects you to come here and work every day and give you all. He doesn't judge you off Mr. Mr. made shots. He judges you off how hard you work, um, how tough you are, how much you care about the game. You know, I played for some great coaches. I played for John Thompson in the Olympics. I played for Cotton Fitzsimmons, my first coach. I played for Pat Riley. I take a little bit from everyone, but probably the most I take from is, is Coach Riley and, and, and Cotton Fitzsimmons. Um, a lot of stuff I did in Miami, uh, a lot of drills, a lot of practices, a lot of philosophies I take from him. Player relationships with Cotton, how he dealt with players. But I think the most important thing as a coach is you have to be true to yourself. You got to act the way you act. You got to coach the way you know. And I just let my personality, you know, I was as a player, I was kind of fiery, emotional. And I think that's how I coach. You got to move someplace so he just can't turn and find you. He turns and you're gone. Then he's got to realize where the hell you're at. Coach Marley um, coaches the way he plays. I think that's the big thing. He, he wants us to get up and down and get after it. Um, he just definitely wants us to be a, a hard-nosed, tough playing team that, uh, that really outworks teams and, and is physical and plays fast. It's a fun way to play. He gives us the green light to shoot it and get after it. If we think we can make a shot, put it up. I can't play anymore. I'm too old, but I can still shoot. Unfortunately, I can still beat them all in shooting games. So they, they come in here and you know, they get on campus and I sign them and then they'll say they're going to beat me in horse and nobody ever has. And then I tell him to YouTube me and look it up. I knew he was on that team that uh, went to the championship. I knew he was the one, like, uh, he was guarding Jordan. Your job is not let this guy score. He was pretty tough. Uh, Thunder Dan, I mean, once I got here, I just kind of got a, a better understanding of what he stood for on the court, what, what the game meant to him, and what he's trying to instill in us. You know, as a player, I, I always thought that I had my best success when I was having a lot of fun, when I enjoyed it. You know, if I didn't enjoy it, it's not a lot of fun, you're not going to play well. So I like to have fun still. I got to have a lot of fun and, and enjoy coaching these guys and not let it be a grind. So I like to have fun with them, joke with them, be a mentor, uh, explain things or whatever. But when it's time to go to work, it's time to go to work. So if we're just patient and we continue to work, we should be top 25 and we want to get into the tournament. And we have the chance to do it, I really believe it. You just look at what we've done in the first four years. It's been amazing. The third year in our transition period, we won 27 games. That's not done very often. So this is a special place and I'm lucky to be here. Three, one, two, three,